Sandown Park Racecourse. Today it's playing host to a different type of race, the Combined Services Competition. Service! Thoroughbred chefs from the Royal Navy, Royal Air Force and the Army will compete in a gruelling series of culinary heats to see if they can reach the bronze, silver or gold medal standards. Major Harry Lomas will be hoping Team Army go for gold. This is pretty much uh, make or break. This is us against the Royal Air Force and the Royal Navy. So pretty much we've got to pull everything out. The toughest arena of the competition is theatre cooking. Chefs cook dishes live before an audience and under the intense scrutiny of international judges. First up for Team Army is London District's Private Katrina Davis. Um, I would imagine she'll be shitting herself at the moment. Um, she'll be very nervous. I feel really emotional, actually. I think I might cry. <laughs> the worst thing that's going to happen for uh, young Private Davis is if she just loses a nerve. Because if you, uh, if you switch off and lose your nerve, uh, everything all goes out the window. <laughs> At 25 years old, Katrina is in an open category where she will produce an ethnic dish in competition with more experienced senior chefs. Every time we've cooked this dish, it's tasted slightly different. Now, you know, considering we've cooked this 15 times at, at least, then I'm, I'm a little worried. All right, relax. Deep breathing, breathing, breathe out. The trouble is I live my life through their dreams and what have you, and um, if I stand watching them, I'm actually making the dish with them, and of course if they don't go according to what I think it should do, I start to panic. This is Katrina's moment. Do you need to see the Sure, 13 minutes, start, now, go. Let's give them a round of applause. Watching alongside Harry is Katrina's mentor from the Cinnamon Club, head chef Harry Nagaraj. And it's not a race. Katrina has to deliver a perfect Indian dish, old Delhi-style chicken in just 30 minutes. You need to just settle down, do one job, finish, finish move another one. The judges will observe the chef's knife skills, cooking practices and hygiene. Everything Katrina does will be assessed and marked. With the chicken cooking through in the oven, Katrina quickly moves on to emulsify her macni sauce. She's racing now, she just needs to have the opportunity now to taste the sauce, just keep going, make sure we've got all the component parts together so we can bring it together. For all the chefs, it's a race against time. All the ingredients have to be cooked to perfection and brought together ready for the judge's taste test. Katrina is first to get her food to service for the judges to sample. With Katrina glad it's all over, Major Lomas checks out the competition. I think this is the REF guys. It looks like a dog's dinner, okay? And therefore, I think, looking up and down the line, we stand a good chance. As Katrina waits for the judge's decision, doubts form in her mind. I don't know if I've shown enough skill in my dish with everything. I don't know what everyone else did, though. But... With the results up on the board, 
Katrina can barely bring herself to look. Got a silver best in class. Oh my God. <laughs> well done. Well done. Well done. Happy? Yes. Did? Yeah, I'm running well. Cool. <laughs> With no one reaching gold standard, the rookie of the bunch is the top chef. I'm really proud of myself, even though in between I kept messing up the sauce, the veg, everything, but it was just like, the rice, no, it was never, there was always something wrong with the dish, but I managed to pull it off, it's good. Oh my God. When she saw her name come up there, I could see her tears in her eyes, that um, it, it, it was sort of over, and it's like winning you know, I mean, the Olympics, you know, I mean, the race has been going on for so long. It just shows you if you want something bad enough, you'll get it. All right? Yeah. Good. Okay. Right, now get washing up. <laughs> We've done it. Sir. Okay, good. Well done. <laughs> but there's little time for Team Army to rest on the laurels of Katrina's success. <laughs> Harry's attention has turned to a crisis involving another of his rookie chefs. Private Tara Boast. Come on. You put a bit of weight on it. Good God. This is what happened on day What do you mean? It's this today. We've got a quarter of an hour. She is about to enter the prestigious cook and serve event as a front of house steward. Whilst chefs cook in the kitchen, the stewards are marked on their fine dining etiquette, including an appreciation of good wine. Young private boss has got an issue. What is the issue? Um, I don't know how to um, take a car cart or a bottle of wine. I thought with this generation, you know, you might be familiar with a bottle of wine. No, 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 no look, you need to be in the centre. OK, in the centre. Sure. Well done. well done. More used to pina colada than pinot grigio, 18-year-old Tara will have to open the wine and serve the guests at their table. It's nice to say it. Oh, God. Well done. Right. I can't do that on... I can't do that when I go on the air, cos I'll just look like a complete... Right. Well, that, that was a good first okay, effort. that was the first effort. Look. <laughs> just take it steady. OK, just pull it out. Don't panic. Time for some expert tuition. Shit. <laughs> 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 On this, aren't we? Should we get screw tops? Harry spots a judge to clarify the rules of engagement on using screw top lids. Stephen, all right, mate, you well? Yeah. How much do you lose if you use screw tops rather than nothing? Because screw tops are now common. Right, screw tops are going to be. We'll get screw top wine for you. Problem solved, or so Harry thinks. I will most likely. This will reduce me to a heart attack. This. One. No doubt. But just before she's due to take to the stand, Tara loses her bottle completely. Oh, good. I couldn't do it. Oh, my God. You are going to do it. Trust me. Major Lomas is going to be well mad at me now. No, it's not. Never. God, I feel sick and everything. I'm really nervous. She needs a hug, really, but it's not the done thing to do. This could be our uh, sort of faulty towers moment with uh, Manuel in charge and the grumpy old major's bloody done a runner. So. With the ranks of Team Army helping her onto the stand, Tara has no chance to go AWOL. Right, good, let's go for it. Sit down, cage me in. For the Navy and RAF, the cook and serve heat is their strongest suit. With stewards regularly employed on ships and air bases, the Navy and RAF contestants get plenty of practice. But Tara is an army chef and has had just three weeks to learn silver service so the army can enter a team. We're started, yes. These judges, you know, I mean, they'll take no prisoners. They will pick every detail up. Thumbprint on the mats, glasses with watermarks in, the squareness of the napkins and things like that. They're into every detail. And things are going all right at the moment, and she's enjoying it, which is the main thing. I'm quite nervous, but actually being studying it's making me feel a bit better. I'll um, just go and speak to the chefs, guys, and ask how long your main course is going to be. Okay, no problem. Thank you very much. The climax of the dinner is silver service of the main course to the table. This is Tara's big moment. 
said that first, that last. Oh, get it out. Charge. And all eyes are on her. This is burning my finger so bad. The art of placing the food onto the plates using a fork and spoon is the epitome of the waitress's elegance and finesse. Not normally served with a string of expletives. When it comes to the sauce, silver service turns into self-service. Can I offer you sauce, sir? Yes, please. Um, you took it yourself. Thank you. Right, get the next one, that's it. Next one, next one. <laughs> Quickly, get it on there now. Finally, with the wine, Tara drops a clangor and pours it <laughs> Thank you very much. into the wrong glass. For Harry, the end can't come soon enough. Right, start eating, gents. Start eating, gents. Quickly, get it down your throat. Good. All right? Well, well, that, well, I just well, shit. Why? I just shit. Why? Good God, we've gone through a bloody nightmare. It's priceless, you know I me. Mean? You don't know me say oh shit to the customers. Uh, I can't believe I swore. That's really bad. But I don't, I don't realise I'm doing it. It's because I got scared and I just like, just did it. <laughs> but the good thing is, she was keen and she went through with it. You know what I mean? At one time, I was dying a thousand deaths. But when Tara realises she hasn't got a medal from the judges, she feels she's let the side down. What's the problem? What's the problem? Tell me what's the problem. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Now, what is the problem? I put loads of in as well, it's really real. Let's just put this into perspective, okay? To get a merit is absolutely brilliant, all right? See, I don't think it is, no, not but... to me. I wanted to get a medal. She feels her whole life has been shattered and, uh, you know, I mean, the last thing you want is a female crying, you know, I mean, it's sort of quite a scary thing to manage. Uh, however, it's just about talking them through all their positives. All right? <laughs> Good. She actually got a certificate of merit. She actually did well. And um, if she'd have got anything else, I would have been astonished. Yeah. Thank you. Now, smile. You are ugly, aren't you? <laughs> Cheers, right. sir. It's a pleasure. Will it be cheers or tears when Shaky Davis takes the stand?
at the combined services competition at Sandown, it's time for the former fast food worker, Private Kirk Davis, to take centre stage. I'm actually uh, shitting it. <laughs> Inexperienced chef Kirk will be competing in the novice chicken category against other privates from the Navy and Air Force. How are you, sir? He will have to prepare and cook his sautéed chicken dish from scratch. Six months ago, uh, I probably couldn't butcher a chicken to save my life. Uh, now I'm going to butcher it live on stage in front of loads of people. And when it comes to the final moments, me and a spoon and sauce, I get the big shakes. I'm holding onto my apron because I'm shaking that much. <laughs> if things are going not right or something's going wrong, just stop for a minute and just rest. Look up and look at me. If we're doing a milkshake in there, he'd most likely get top points, but uh, he's still there shaking away. Once the clock starts and he's on his own, I think that he'll just settle down and do it. And um, I wish him the best, really. There's no going back. <laughs> I'll be fine. I'll just smile, shake a little, and do my dish. Kirk is under starter's orders. It's a tense moment for Team Army. He's more nervous than I am, Hook. <laughs> the most delicate part of Kirk's dish is making a pocket in the chicken breast for the farce. Nice stuffing in there, yeah? Hey, superb, mate. Well done. Don't overfill it. That's enough in there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's enough. Yeah, good thing, yeah. As well as showing his skills as a chef, Kirk needs to constantly observe good kitchen practices in hygiene and organisation if he's to score with the judges. Keep the tears in. We're not going to panic yet. About 15 minutes to go. That doesn't look too hot. But just when it looks like it's all going to plan, Calamity Kirk spills his salt and pepper. Is that a salt and pepper gone? An unseasoned dish will cost him dearly. Get some salt and pepper. No, 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 you can't. You can't touch it. Luckily, Kirk has enough seasoning on his chicken and sauce. Okay, you there's enough. Yes, uh, chicken out, good. As the other forces chefs start to plate up their dishes, Kirk falls behind time. Right, get get plating up. Come on. Like a dog on it. Right, slice your slice your chicken. Come on, get a move on. Come on, Kurt, well done. And under pressure, his nerves take over. Nice good, good, good. Good. You need to get a move on. You've got half a minute left, Kurt. Come on. But the real test of nerves comes when Shaky Davis has to put the gravy on the plate. Good God, there's me. Take your time, take your time. That's a lot of Right now, breathing, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Smile, Davis. Smile. Smile. That's it. Well done. Excellent. Potato. Where's the potato? No, no, no. You're right. You're right. You're okay. You're okay. Okay. Is that where we go? Clean up. Present it. Good effort. Get that up. Take it steady. Don't trip. Just take your time. Without a second to spare. Kirk gets his dish up just in time for the judges to taste. Well done, well done. That's good. good I was loving it, it's just a service. Hey, don't worry, you did it, you did it there, the from pudding. I think we were all shaking for him, it was like a bloody room full of expectant fathers. We didn't know who, who was going to give birth first. Well done, look at him. Winner, a winner, it's a real winner. I couldn't do too many of them. Uh, bloody heart was in my mouth all the bloody time, especially when we get into the last sort of uh, ten minutes. Good God, I thought we were going to get there. Oh, it's all over. Um, I'm smiling. I'm glowing inside, but you know, I don't know if I'm smiling because it's over or I'm impressed what I've done on stage. I don't know what the outcome is yet. Overall, I don't think if I get anything today, I'm not going to be sad because I enjoyed it.
It's time to see if Kirk's made it from burger flipper to award-winning army chef. Silver. Fantastic. So to get second. Absolutely outstanding. Um, you know, to walk away with silver today is just um, a great deal to me. And it shows that I need to be more confident within myself because I've got the team around me to give me the compliments. I just need it within myself, and I can walk away with silver. That's, 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 that's a goal to me. There isn't many times you're going to be under that amount of pressure. Maybe with the Taliban sort of firing in, you know, I mean, mortars might uh, put a bit of a sweat on your brow, but he was under some extreme pressure there to deliver that. He'll make a, an excellent chef in the army and a really good soldier. Combination will be super. Pretty much we know we can put him anywhere. And with Kirk due on operations next year... I don't want to wear it, sir. What do you mean? No, this is what they do in the um, Olympics. Come here. I don't want to wear it. Get here. <laughs> Shut up. It's a valuable experience. Okay. But next time we meet, and it'll be somewhere, you must not have a stripe on your arm, and you must not be somewhere else around the world, I expect you to be looking after the next generation coming through. Yes, sir. All right, so once again, many thanks for all your input. Yes, sir. And, um, and there's your box. Don't say I never <laughs> give you anything. Thank you very much, oh, sir. Cheers, well done. Cheers, sir. Good. Good pleasure.